the time now is 8.21. You had a live look there. Crestline is still covered in snow, and fire crews have been performing rescue efforts for the last week. Joining us with more on the conditions and rescues is Orange County Fire Authority Division Chief Craig Covey. Mr. Covey, Chief Covey, where are you right now, sir? Uh, good morning. I'm at the uh, base camp in San Bernardino. And the situation there is? Well, we're uh, just getting ready to deploy up on, we've been running 12 hour shifts with our crews and we're just getting ready to deploy up the mountain right now. We just did all of our morning briefing and we're gonna head out and continue the mission. Give us an idea, so uh, 12 hour shifts, what goes into that 12 hours? I, I, I'm gonna guess by the end of the day, fatigue has set in. Yeah, you know, especially with the repopulation we had yesterday, a lot of these crews have been up here already, you know, seven, eight, nine days uh, since this event came through. So uh, certainly we're monitoring that fatigue and trying to work with our crews. Uh, yesterday was just a, a crazy day. I have that Crestline Division area where your video is at uh, near Lake Gregory. And uh, it was pretty much from a moment we were wheels on the ground till we left at 1800 nonstop community support, uh, building collapses, gas leaks, uh, cars getting dug out, uh, delivering medicines, delivering food, everything we can to support that community. Is your job, Chief, to uh, kind of be like triage and determine which emergency gets precedence? That's exactly right. And, and with the resources I have, kind of stack the calls and, and assign the proper units to it to go out and triage it. When If we need to ramp it up to a bigger response, we do that, but just try to as quickly and react to what is given to us and at least get somebody there, a face for the community to work with, and then our crews will just work on the problem solving what's needed to fix it. Let's talk timeline. At what point did this stop being, oh, snow is fun, this is cool, to what, and it transitioned to, oh boy, this is dangerous. When did that happen? Yeah, I think I think we're certainly at that dangerous level here. Uh, it's you know you're talking to some of the locals up there; uh, they've never seen a, an event like this. Uh, it is beyond fun. This is definitely a, a true emergency, uh, a crisis for this community up there, and uh, not only in the destruction of the personal property, but the town infrastructures, the loss of income, revenue to all those up there. This is a, a high season for the the tax base for the infrastructure. So uh, this has got a, a long lasting effect uh, for the community, not only on a humanitarian side, but an ongoing financial side. You know, I, I just watched the movie uh, a couple times now, All Quiet on the Western Front, and watching the camera go through those snow banks, it reminds me of trench warfare. I mean, like those banks are eight, 12 feet tall. It's, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and then you put that on the roof, and those are thousands of pounds of weight on the roof that, you know, many of these houses are really struggling, uh, especially roofs that aren't as peaked or as pitched. You know, you put that live load on there, and, you know, they're they're built pretty robust, but this is a load that many of these places haven't seen for decades. And uh, talking with the locals, this is a definitely a once-in-their-lifetime event. Yeah, it, it's uh, the mother of all snowstorms. Uh, th this number just jumped out at me as I was getting ready for this interview is the total snowpack in California at 190% the average for this date over the year. I mean, that's just, I mean. You can, yeah, I, I saw a video the other day of a, a gentleman out walking his dog and he fell into an air pocket and what he realized, he was walking on someone's roof had no idea that's how deep the snow was. He oh. was walking across someone's roof and didn't even realize it. So at some point, the sun becomes your friend, right? Uh, I assume. Yeah, you know, as soon as we can get the melt, but then, you know, you have another issue with the, the runoff, right? We have a storm coming. Whether or not it's going to really hit Southern California, those models are still varying. But now you add that rain, a warm rain onto the snowpack, and that's our next issue. We're going to have to be facing it here in the next week. And what's the play going forward? I mean, do we do you stock up more gear, more men, or is this just one of those deals where you really can't plan for, you can't have 600 more trucks for that once-in-a-lifetime storm? What's your advice going forward to people in power? Well, like we always say is that, you know, always plan for that 72 hour emergency kit. Um, but you can see really it can quickly go into a week to two weeks. So you really as a 
individual need to be prepared for events like this. And as the uh, the government agencies around here, public works and the county departments, they're all ramping up readiness for this next storm event. Uh, and the runoff, making sure the culverts are getting cleared out and things like that as best they can. A lot of these things are clogged with snow and ice that, you know, Public Works was expecting to take two and three weeks or more to get roadways clear. And they're crushing it. There, A lot of these roadways, the main arterials are cleared. A lot of the secondaries are cleared. Uh, we're gaining access. We're doing really well for the size of the event. But, uh, you know, the more Mother Nature cooperates, the, the better we'll be, that's for sure. Well, take solace in the fact that you and your cohorts are doing angels' work and uh, you're saving lives. And just uh, imagine the situation if you weren't there. And I think on behalf of everybody who's, who either knows you or, or is going to know you in the coming hours, thank you, thank you, a thousand thank yous for doing what you do. Yeah, you know, uh, the crews out there are really, really working hard, and the community has been very receptive and appreciative of that. You know, that's what we're here for. That's what we, you know, it's our DNA. It's what we like to do, and, and I appreciate your comments, and I'll pass that along to the guys that are really working hard. Division Chief Craig Covey joining us before he goes back to work. Thank you so much, sir.